Hi folks, greetings from Julian Price Campground on the Blue Ridge Parkway near Blowing Rock, North Carolina. I wanted to make a uh, follow-up video to my original one comparing the 100 watt amorphous Harbor Freight silicone solar panel kit to the newer Harbor Freight monocrystalline silicone uh, standalone panel. For the test today, I've got uh, my camper battery connected here right now. I've got a few things running in the camper. We're using 5.3 amps of power out of the battery right now. There are no hookups at this campground, so we are using solar panels. We want to use the charge controller, PWM charge controller, that came with that uh, amorphous panel kit. Let's get my amp clamp off here so we can measure how much power that the panels are putting out. All right, so the black cable is going to the amorphous panels. We'll plug that in. And we are getting 13.1 volts out to the battery at 0.58 amps. It's kind of a rainy day, definitely cloudy. The sun's trying to peek through the clouds right now, but it is sprinkling. We're still holding at 0.58. All right, let's plug in the monocrystalline panel. Let's see what we're getting under the same conditions. 0.58 with the amorphous panels with the monocrystalline, 0.73. Still at 13.1 volts. So even though we're cloudy today, low light conditions, this monocrystalline panel is still putting out more power than the amorphous panels. Let's switch back just to make sure that the amount of sunlight didn't change on us. All right, we're back on the amorphous panels now. 13.1 .1 volts. So even though amorphous panels are traditionally known for producing more power under low light conditions, that is not the case here today. Let's see what we can do with our uh, MPP T charge controller, which I have mounted here in the camper. It's connected straight to my jack on the side here. So we will connect that. And I've got a remote display that will actually tell me the voltage and the current for the CP Ever MPPT controller. All right, let's start out with the amorphous panels. And we'll give it a few seconds for it to dial in. The uh, MPPT controller takes a little bit of time before it starts adjusting the output. Right now, we're getting 21.4 volts out of that solar panel. No current. So, under this low of a light condition, we're not doing very good trying to get current out of that panel with this type of controller. Let's switch to the monocrystalline and see what we can get. Fifteen point six, twenty point six. Not seeing any current yet. Going to give that that, can, that charge controller a little bit of time. To adjust itself. Okay, we're seeing 13.1 volts on the battery. It should start anytime converting that voltage to current. It's been a little slow. Uh, 
Okay, now we're starting to see some current. Took it a little while. 0.1 amps in and 0.1 amps out on the monocrystalline. We'll give it a little bit more time, see if it adjusts anymore. Yep, it's going up now. It's taking that excess voltage from that 20 volts in and boosting that current. 0.2 in, 0.2 out. Yeah, the, the clouds have moved back in right now, so you can't see the sun at all. All right, we've, we're up to point three now. And now we're coming up. Point seven amps out with the monocrystalline panel. I have a feeling that's about all we're gonna get for the current cloudy conditions. So let's go back to the amorphous panel and we'll give it time to, uh, we'll give it time for the controller to start trying to compensate and get tuned in. We're putting out enough voltage to get something out of this panel this controller's just a little slow at adjusting that current output. So if you'll hang tight just for a minute here, we should start seeing something. Once again, pretty cloudy. Can't see the sun. There is a little bit of a lighter spot in the clouds there, but it's pretty obscured. Still waiting for that charge controller to adjust itself, start putting out current. Here we go, point one. Still putting out 20 volts on the panels. All four of these panels, by the way, are hooked in parallel using the original adapter, 4-in-1 adapter that came with the kit. Now we're up to point two. Got point one coming in at 20 volts and it's adjusted that to point two going out at 13 volts. Now we're showing point two coming in. At 19, 18 volts, three, We've climbed up to 0.4 amps going out to the battery. Still giving it a little bit of time to see if it's going to increase anymore. These MPPTT controllers, they take a little time to, uh, to adjust the current output. So we've gained a little bit more. We're up to half amp, up, back down to 0.4. We hit 0.5 just for a little bit. And now it's on its way back down. And it's also pulled the panel voltage down to 14.5 at four amps in. So with the MPPT controller, we see even bigger difference. Uh, 0.7 with the monocrystalline panel, 0.4 to 0.5 with the amorphous panels. So there you go, folks. Even though the amorphous panels are normally known for putting out more voltage under low light conditions, the new monocrystalline panel from Harbor Freight still wins. Thanks for watching.